in the collaboration with various state departments speak volumes of the capacity and the potential of NYS to power the transformation of our country. Thanks to the dynamism of the National Youth Service, the graduates of this institution are much admired, effective workers in every field, from agriculture to national security and administration, as well as building and construction, research, development, and innovation. Because of the rationalization of learning pathways in tertiary, uh, tertiary education, a number are also finding themselves on their way to careers in highly competitive domains. Recognizing the place of youth in national transformation in general, and that of NYS in powering the plan in particular, we have embarked on a strategic re-engineering of the National Youth Service to enhance the capacity of the institution to take up greater numbers of trainees, position it on the path of financial sustainability through revenue generation, thereby creating the conditions to support the expansion of enrollment to 100,000 young people annually in the next five years. Let me repeat that this year, we are graduating 10,000 young people from this field. Next year, in the first cohort, it will be 15,000. In the next cohort, it will be 15,000. So next year alone, 30,000 young people from across Kenya will graduate from NYS as we position NYS as the incubator for all other arms of government. And let me report here that when I was here last year, I did commit that we were going to include the National Youth Service in the review of salaries and working conditions of both the police, the prisons, and I committed that we are going to include the NYS, and we did. <laughs> Let me confirm that as the report was presented to me and to government, National Youth Service, beginning the next financial year, for three years, their salaries will be increased by 40% going into the future. Let me also confirm that I have approved the modernization and the re-engineering of National Youth Service so that in February next year, we will have an additional 200 cadets that will be trained to enhance the capacity of National Youth Service to train more servicemen and women as we use NYS to grow the pool of young people that are job ready, that are ready to take up responsibilities in different sectors. Additionally, another 500 servicemen will be trained to join staff of the National Youth Service, again in the effort to ensure that National Youth Service has the men, has the women to assist NYS train more young people. Vile tutakuwa tunaongeza wale watakuwa na kuja hapa NYS. Na nimesema ya kwamba kuanzia February mwaka unaokuja. Hawa vijana kutoka Kenya mzima. Namba yao itaongezeka kuwa elfu kumi na tano. Enrollment ya mwezi wa nane, mwezi ujao, eh, mwaka ujao itakuwa eh, elfu kumi na tano ingine. Na pole pole kwa miaka mitano tutakuwa na vijana elfu miyamoja kila mwaka. Watakao shiriki katika mafundisho ya National Youth Service. Vile vile, nimesema ya kwamba ili kut Tumia NYS as an incubator, the National Security Council has decided that going forward, all security recruitment, 80% of all security recruitment will be from the National Youth Service. 
wale vijana wote sasa tumeamua kama baraza la usalama katika taifa la Kenya kwamba wale wote watak 